Hi everyone, I'm Jeremy Reeves, head blender of Cornell and Deal Pipe Tobacco Company. And uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the longevity and consistency of the products that we produce. One of the most important things that any blending house, uh, or really any manufacturer of any repeated product, uh, has to achieve is some level of consistency, uh, you know, wine or in whiskey uh, or even even in clothing lines, things like this. The consistency and the reliability of the product is something that has to be maintained over time. And with pipe tobacco, it's no different. Um, so, of course, uh, there's some methodology involved in this but really it gets down to uh, two things. Um, A, buying enough of any given component that you have, you have supply for several years. Um, and then B, as that component dwindles in stock, Finding a close, suitable replacement, something that smokes similarly, that falls in the same sort of color range, something that has uh, similar sugar content and similar nicotine content and similar overall characteristic flavors, that as you dwindle component A, you begin blending in its replacement component B. Generally, this takes place in such a way that the product only minimally changes uh, in very, very small increments and the overall experience of the product is consistent. Um, so we have over 30 different blending components, uh, leaf types, grades that we use, um, and I can use some of those grades interchangeably. I can use some of those grades in combination with one another to be used as a particular component once these two grades are combined. Uh, and I also can use a grade from here or a grade from there to slightly tweak or change if I find a component that I need to replace with that isn't quite there. I have other things that I can blend in that will get it there, uh, if that makes sense. So. Um, it's a big part of my job is sorting, uh, sourcing the tobaccos that we use in our blends. And the reason that my position as head blender is important is because while I'm not a production blender carrying out recipes every day in, in production, I am making sure that the whole production of all of our blends remain consistent and that we have the tobaccos that we need to produce those things over time. So in a nutshell, that's how it works. There's, there's a little more to it than that, but uh, some of those things are difficult to, to present in a video. Uh, but I hope that that clears up a little bit of uh, how, how a blending house can keep products on the market for decades and keep those products consistent.